Okay, so we bring her into the room. Um, I explained to her. Hogtied her to a bed. Yeah. Hogtied to a bed, tasteful booty shorts, one of her hands not really working very good. Um, And I say to her, I need you to understand that you could leave here alive, but it's going to take you giving us everything you got. Otherwise, I am going to remove your head from your shoulders. Okay. With my hand. I was hired by Hector to come and steal the orb and the longsword from you guys. When I failed and when you guys were said to have destroyed the orb, I was sent to get revenge, kill you all, and take the longsword back. But I wanted to find the longsword before I killed you guys, just in case you had maybe sold it or hit it or something. Who is Hector? Hector is the red-robed person yeah. who tried to have you guys steal the stuff from him. Which, by the way, wasn't his. He actually just collects the stuff. He knew the goblins had taken it and wanted you to get it. Yeah. It wasn't his at all. He's a collector. What I say to her... The... Hmm? I ask oh, her, what does, the, what does the orb and the, the sword do? I have no idea. Okay, so here's what's going to happen, I say. I say, your mission's now done, obviously. Um, you can have whatever he has paid you. You can have your life. Uh, hell, we'll give you whatever gear you know, back that we don't want to keep for ourselves. Like, you're not going to be absolutely desolute. But I need you to arrange a meet with this guy to under the, pre, under the pretense that you're going to give him what he's owed. Uh, and what you're basically doing is you're going to be setting him up for us, and then after that you're free to go. Okay, easy peasy. Um, I'm supposed to meet him when I've tracked you guys down and found it uh, back at his place. Also, oh, I mean, I'm supposed to send him word through some contacts of ours, and then we'll set in a, a meetup. I asked Bregor if this seems like a good plan for him, too. I think we should uh, get directions to his place and then maybe oversee this as it's happening. What's that? Like, we should get directions to Hector's place so that way, you know, we can go and observe what she says to him. Um... I basically look her over and say, I don't think she'll screw us over. Uh, I'm, I'm offering her her life here, and she'll give us her word. I mean, if she double-crosses us, then I, I would assume later I end up uh, absolutely tearing her head off her shoulders with my bare hands. Um, and we know we already know who's the bad guy, right? We already know who tried to do this, so we can double back. But we do have the caravan mission to do. So I tell her that she needs to send word that Hector has to come meet. Well, actually, I don't know if that works in the timeline, right? Because it took us, what, three days to get here? Five days. And we only have, like, two more days in town? Yeah. Hmm. Well, you th- took three... Did it take four or five days? You've got three more days in town. I don't remember if it took you four or five days to get here. Maybe yeah. someone in chat knows. I think we can do it if we have Hector meet here, like, tomorrow. Yeah. So I would, I would tell... Uh, I would say it to her... What's her name? We should ask her her name. Um, her name is Lavernica. All right, we'll call her Laverne. We'll call her Vernie. <laughs> we'll say, Vernie, uh, you need to tell him that he's got to double time it over here. You've, you've got his sword. The orb was destroyed. But you're only able to give it to him here, and he's, and he's only got a couple days to do it because you actually, you know, you have to get out of town, and you have to go in the other direction. You can't go back towards that direction. Okay. Wait, what? What do you want me to do? We want you to get Hector here in the next two days under the pretense... Yeah, that can't happen. It will take me five days to get there. You don't have a messenger pigeon or some shit? (laughs) Did you see it? She doesn't have a ferret. I don't... Who carries messenger pigeons on them? And even if I had a messenger pigeon, it would take him five days to get here. Your math doesn't add up, dude. Right, and I say, Vernie, you're gonna you're gonna want to cool it down on the insults. You're gonna be the the funniest no armed person in all in this whole fucking town. Um, <laughs> she looks terrified. Yeah. So I say, uh, you know, Brager, what do you want to do about this? I think we should continue with the caravan and just deal with Hector later. Hmm. <clears throat> How many days away is our caravan destination? Oh, you've got like another two weeks. Uh. Okay, well, 
so here's what I think. This guy, Hector, he's obviously like some kind of collector of all this stuff. He's probably a lot more wealthy than uh, the 400 gold we might be getting for the caravan mission. Maybe we can cut the caravan mission short and go after Hector. We have a couple of options. Yeah, I can see what you're saying. Um, personally, I kind of want to We've already kind of tarnished our reputation by stealing from the guy that hired us to do a mission, so I don't want to do that too often, you know? I think we can definitely talk to the caravan guy and say, ask him if we can work something out where, like, we stay a couple days. Because he was willing to take a 10-day detour, right? Uh, or not necessarily willing, but we, he would have had to do that if we went around the, the tree. Mm -hmm. So we could, re we could reason with him with your uh, charisma to get him to allow us to go back and deal with this, we would have to double it up, but okay. I'd like to do both, is what I'm saying. So, Lavernica, what is, the, what is the quickest time frame that you could get Hector here in town to meet If you? he agreed to meet me here, which I don't think he necessarily would, he could be here in probably six days. So, um, no. Uh, I don't have a messenger pigeon. It, <laughs> if you would agree to meet here... I can't see a way to get him to meet here because I'd have to go back to talk to him. But I guess I could send a messenger from here, there. I could probably get him here in 11 or 12 days, at best, if he would agree to meet me here, which I don't think he would. I think we just would have to go back. Okay. All right. So um, give us directions to Hector's headquarters. Okay. Well, it's the the big red house in town um, that's at the end of she gives you directions okay yeah so I say we gotta go talk to the caravan leader and we gotta patch up JP because we can't travel with him like this so okay so I say uh, we better recognize that there is just a very good chance we can't do this but uh, we need to talk it out logistic wise mm -hmm. and then I say I also realize that there is the innkeeper's brother that was murdered by her hand and we kind of owe him so, that is true. So I say to her, we're still in the room. We're talking about this in front of her. I say, the innkeeper that you murdered uh, in the fray, his brother wants vengeance. Uh, what do you have to offer that would stop us from turning you over to him? Um, you promised me you wouldn't kill me. It's not killing you. Yep. If you turn over. me over to those that would, how is that any different? Why did you kill the bartender anyway? I mean, I didn't mean to kill him. I was just trying to, you know, silence him and get him out of the way. I can't have people seeing me in this stuff. Mm. You know, innocent bystander accidentally gets killed. So I reiterate to her the most you have to offer is my word. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I mean, what else am I supposed to say? I don't have cool. anything. I was hoping Vernie would be like secretly awesome. Um, all right, so I say break, or I'll, I'll, I'll keep my honor. How about you uh, pass on word to our, our friends and see what they want to do, and if you could talk to the caravan guy. So I'm asking him for an extra 12 days or so? Uh, you're, yeah, I'd explain to him that we just had an assassin try to kill us, and the guy that's going to be sending assassins is in the other direction, so we need to take care of this in order to complete our mission with him. Okay. So, what time of night is it? Uh, it's a little past midnight. Did the caravan dude, is he there, like, from all the commotion, did he come out? Yeah, he came out, but once he saw it was the black-robed assassin person again, and you guys, like, get out of here, he kind of, mm -hmm. like, went back to sleep. Okay. Uh, well, since this happened recently, he's probably not fully asleep, so I'll, I'll go over to his room and uh, knock on his door. Okay. You knock on his door? Yep. Or he, all right, you, he says, come on in? Or he okay. answers the door, I guess. <clears throat> so I entered the, the, the room, and I explained to him that uh, this spy works for somebody uh, above her, and we really need to, to deal with her, you know, who hired her. 
So we're going to need an extra like 10 to 12 days here in town uh, before we can head out and help you on your mission with the caravan. Yeah, that's not going to work. I need to get out of town in the next three or four days. I, I have no reason to stay any longer than that. And you promised to keep watch. And I paid you in advance for your services, so you had better come with us. Oh, that's definitely true, but we saved you about ten days. Uh, Which I've by... already paid you for. Right. Well, what I'm saying is we've, we've saved you an extra ten days by killing the ogre and the hobgoblins and the, the tree without us. You know, it would take those 10 days anyway, so uh, we need these 10 days here in town. We have to meet with... Uh, and do you have, I've hired you to get me where I need to go. Just because you have saved me time doesn't mean that I owe you time. I owe you money, which I've paid you. This doesn't make any sense. Yeah, you don't... You've got you, problems. Don't... you can deal with them later, but we have a contract, and it's not up yet. That is true, but this is a very pressing issue. Uh, so we we How's absolutely it have to stay in town. Person that was out to kill you. Is right. it the least pressing issue you have at hand? <clears throat> there she is. You can do whatever you want with her. Right. You kill her but now, and then you'd be done. She is not the issue. It's the person that hired her that's the issue. Uh, he lives about five days away, so we need. Uh, to get him here, it'll take about 10 days. Yeah, well, you can give me my 100 gold back, and I'll hire some new people. How about that? You really think you could hire a group of people that could chop a, an ogre into mist? Maybe not, but I could hire some people that would get me safely where I need to go. I've done it before. Is, can I roll some kind of charisma to try and get him to give in, or is this... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got to make a better argument than that. Yeah, he I seems see. pretty adamant. Okay. Uh, Swayed. So I'll walk back into uh, into the room with Vincent and let him know what just went down with the caravan guy. Okay, so he tells me. Um, I asked the assassin how much she was paid... To, to come after us. 600 gold. Were you already paid? Nope. Son Came of a on bitch. delivery of the weapon. An orb. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I say, I say we just deal with, uh, I mean, it's kind of fun when Hector sends us assassins, so. I say we do this mission, and then we circle back, and we let you get all saw up on this Hector's bizatch. Um, Pulp Fiction, medieval style, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm cool with either way. Okay. That's what I say. And I say we need a couple days to heal up JP anyway, so it's really unlikely that we'd be able to double back and do anything. And we've got guaranteed money uh, on our hands. We, we, we need gold to be real people in this world, so 400 gold is a pretty good start. So, I say, I, I look at the assassin and I say, I'm going to need your word that you're not going to come back after us. And uh, I will let you exist and live if we can also have your word that you're now an ally that, you know, if you, if you can, maybe you help us out in the future or maybe we help you out. I will not come after you guys ever again. Uh-oh. I need to... Oops. Okay. Um, I need to give you guys a call back on Is your sword better than mine, or does everyone just have a long sword? Long swords are all pretty much the same. Magical ones are better. Some can be worse, but generally, we're going to say they're about the same. Okay. So, I assume... Uh, I think uh, I think Abigail would like the smoke bombs and the lockpick set, maybe. Maybe a spare one. Yeah. Do we need to take a quick momentary break? Uh, yeah, I gotta give you guys a call back on Skype. Okay. Give er me one second.
So we take her smoke bombs and uh, kit, the bags full of cool stuff that you'll tell us about later. Mm -hmm. I then give her her sword back and like uh, her dagger, not her darts though. I think I think Abigail might like those as well. And then I say, uh, Bregor, is there anything else you think I've left uncovered before we let her go? No, I think I'm good. Okay. I'll give her a little, you know, slap on the butt. <laughs> She's leaving. <laughs> okay. You guys kick her out into the night, and she disappears. Um, do you guys set watch for the rest of the night? Well, I mean, yes, obviously. Okay. Well, yeah. where's uh, Abigail and JP, or uh, Tugabut? You guys have dragged Tugglebutt into his bed and somehow <laughs> hoisted him into it. Abigail is hanging out with him. Cool. Um, yeah. So after we send the uh, <clears throat> the thief into the night, uh, I go downstairs and I... Is the bartender down there? Yeah. Okay, I go downstairs and I... I, yeah. Yeah. I ask the bartender where we can find a healer. Am I ba No, I went to find the healer. Oh, yeah. No, no. that's right. That's yeah. where you went. That's she's why never... I wasn't been there for like hours. I forgot I didn't about say that. say anything. <laughs> okay, so she's been off to find a healer. Never I'm mind. this quiet. <laughs> 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 All right. Let's switch over to Abigail. You have gone off in search of a healer. Um, yes. You, how did you search for a healer? Uh, I would assume there's some guards in town. Yes, there are. So I asked for one where the healer would be, or a healer. Okay, he gives you directions to a couple of different um, temples where the priests there can cast healing spells. All right, so I oh. went to the closest one. Okay, the closest one, where is it? E, gods and religion. The closest one is a temple to the god Agepa, who is the goddess of the hunt. All right. Okay. Is it so very far? Or is it like... I mean, huh? you show up at the temple, the doors are open, there's, you know... Uh, well, no, I guess it's middle of the night. The temple's probably closed. Shouldn't they have, like, a guard or something? Or, like, someone keeping watch? No... No, the doors are just barred shut and locked. Hmm. I guess I'll just go back then. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, like, why would I like, barge in the thing? Like, let's just wait for the morning. So I'll just go back to the to the bar and I guess meet everyone there and say, yep, no temples for the night. We're going to have to wait for the morning. Okay. I mean, I can't go in and, like, steal a healing spell, so that's what I'm doing. Okay, so you come back to the party and report in? Yeah. Okay. Party, what do you do? Uh, is he stabilized? Like, he's at negative three, but not getting worse? Yeah, he's just... Yeah. yeah. Alright, so we can wait. So, I say that, uh, obviously, we got to super protect him, so he's in bed. Um... Abigail was wounded as well, right? Yes. So she can get some rest, and then uh, Bregor and I will uh, alternate. But we're in the same room. Like, we're four in a room this time. Didn't everyone take damage there? Not I yet. didn't take damage. I didn't take damage. Oh, okay. I yeah. thought Jeff got hit in the head, and that caused damage, and Ryan got stabbed or something. He got knocked out, but it didn't actually cause him damage. Okay, okay, cool. Okay, uh, so that goes on through the night, right? Mm-hmm. And then next and then, day, we're getting a healer. Yeah, next day comes yeah. along. You guys send out for a healer? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so this part's going to be a little bit tricky for you. Since healing spells can't really just be bought arbitrarily, they're usually... You kind of have to persuade... Like, you know, They only have so many spells, so they kind of have to... You have to give them a good reason why they would bother to use the power of their god to heal your dude, so... So they're not. You can't just like buy a healing spell from a priest. So the priest shows up. Well, I mean, you guys go to the priest. I guess you could call him to you. That'd be fine. A priest yeah. shows up. Um, 
And I say, Bragar, do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, uh, Mr. Priest, uh, our friend here is dying, uh, and he will die if we don't have a priest heal him uh, in the next day or so. Uh, could you help us out? I could, but tell me more about your person. There are many people that are dying that need help, but you know, uh, his name is his name is Tugub, and he's not a priest, but he's also a healer as well. So I think you can uh, sympathize what with that. Does he owe his allegiance. Um. Hold on. I can't help here, right? Nope, you're unconscious. Yeah. You could, like, subconsciously mutter it. <laughs> some, some wine spills and it spells out the name next to me. <laughs> um, does anybody know it? No. 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 I, I um, say in Elvish, you should just say the same religion as the guy. Which is what? Uh... Oh. I don't actually know. What's maybe the, you uh, should, maybe you can try to like get him to tell you. <laughs> uh, well, so, well, some like when you asked the guard where you were going, the guard told you the name of. He uh, only told me the name of the hunter one. <clears throat> okay. No, he he told you about four different ones. Oh, he told me the four ones. But the closest mm -hmm. one. Yeah. So, was... we could try the closest one. It was like okay, so uh, so I say to the I say to the priest, he, um, I'm not sure if I <clears throat> exactly remember the name of the god. I think it was a Gippa or something like that. Uh, I'm not really religious myself. I know he is, but I think it's um, it sounds like that. He's mentioned it a couple of times. So you say it's a Gippa? Yeah says, okay, and he kind of looks over JP and kind of like brushes him aside and finds like the holy symbol that JP wears around his neck. It's like, yeah, he's a priest of Jexel. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm always confusing those. Yes. <laughs> yes like I said, I'm not really religious myself. <laughs> bad luck on your part. And he kind of looks at you expectantly and then goes, never mind. Um, well, I guess a fellow cleric is definitely a man of a cloth. I'd say we've got another day or two in town. If there's anything we can do to repay you, we would love to, or if we ever return, but it's very urgent that he's healed immediately. Your account yeah, there, is present, by the way, Jeff. You're like an eternal to... this. <laughs> there, there's some work that needs to be done around, uh, around the temple. There are some repairs that need to be done. Yeah, I'd be happy to do it. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Heal him up and get him on his feet, and we will definitely come and help out as long as much as we can in the next day or so. Well, tell me more about him. Is he a, is he a good man? Is he a bad man? But what, what are his likes, his dislikes, his joys? What what does he do with his time? He likes to drink, and he wears his pink boots with much pride. Um, clothing is very optional for him, which is which is a kindness to be unspoken. Um, and. Uh, He's a friend. He's a friend who carries around a big piece of wood that he hits people with, but only when they're bad. Why is he stabbed here? Who did this to him? We had an assassin sent after us because of a disgruntled previous client that we're trying to work things out, but we're going to have to put it on the back burner when we see them next time. They sent an assassin after you? What are you... What? I... This sounds like I'm getting myself mixed in some things that may not be good for me. Oh, no, no. By healing him, you won't be mixed in at all. Kind of looks at you suspiciously. I just, like, I do a weird, queer, like, okay. middle smile. <laughs> There's also a ferret in it for you. <laughs> You've managed to persuade him, and he heals JP. <laughs> JP, you're for life. Am I still unconscious? No, you come to consciousness, but you're pretty weak. You'll need like another full day of bed rest to get so yourself So the second, back. the second that he heals me and I'm back in conscious, I immediately exclaim, "Did you get her?" 
We did. She is, uh, we, we've taken most of her cool gear, and we sent her back on her way. Hector will have to die another day, but for now we have to protect the caravan after we get you all healed up. All right, that's too much. In Where's some wine? I need some wine right now. The priest says, my, you're a heavy drinker. I'm a big guy. It's okay, I can handle it. Thank you for the heal, by the way. Good job. <laughs> I give him a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> The high-fiver. The, the ferret high-fiver. Yeah, yeah, if you'd like to high-five the ferret, please. By all means. <laughs> then you see the ferret going like this. <laughs> He's waiting for the high-five. Okay, so I recommend that JP, uh, or not JP, excuse me, but Tugabut stays around and rests, and Abigail can, can hang out with him, and they can, you know, rest together and make sure each other's safe, and then Bregor and I can go and work at the temple or whatever for a while okay cool and i think that's been four hours so this is a good stopping point yeah do you guys feel comfortable stopping here yeah we can end we can end it with a shirtless like repair montage that Bre Bregor <laughs> and i are doing like <laughs> you guys are working up a sweat moving stones <laughs> off things, carrying heavy stuff exactly you boys look thirsty do you want water well, it's mighty kind of you, priest man. Exactly. Yeah. Did the priest high five the ferret, or is he still going like this, <laughs> looking sad? Yep, hanging. I don't he think he never high him. Ferret. Oh wow! It's okay. I high five my ferret and pet him on the head. Give him a little treat. <laughs> okay. All right. I think uh, I think we're done then. <laughs> Very so, good. An eventful night. Uh, next Thursday, everyone. Or sorry, next. This isn't state of the game. Sunday. Next Sunday, everyone good? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Ooh, yeah. Maybe. Maybe. There's the LAN ETS, and I don't know at what time I'll be playing. Okay. Well, we'll figure it out. I'll have to look into it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll post on Twitter and on YouTube. Uh, yeah, I can do Saturday time. if Sunday doesn't work out. Cool. Saturday I'll be in Disneyland, so I maybe Monday if we could. Yeah, we'll figure something out. We'll figure something out. So. Okay. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, stick around. I'm gonna run some ads. But anyways, it's been role play for this week. We'll see you sometime next week uh, for some more role playing fun. Peace. Bye. -bye.